Hi, thank you for watching another Providing Resources for Emergency Preparedness YouTube video. Welcome back. As you can see, today we're going to talk about our food storage milk. That's today's topic on this Providing Resources for Emergency Preparedness YouTube video. alternatives you have if you are not able to purchase your regular fresh organic milk. Now for most of my everyday drinking purposes I do use the organic milk but if you're ever in a financial situation for everyday life emergency you lose your job or things get tight or a long-term emergency you might not be able to get your normal uh, fresh gallon of milk from your local supermarket. So what should be some food storage options you should have in your cabinet for milk? And with prepping, you always want to use the rule of three, where you have three different options for one item. So I want to share with you what my family is doing as far as our milk um, preparedness. And I have purchased three different types of milk. Now this basic milk here we get from Sam's Club. Um, it's not that um, expensive. And um, I use this all the time. Matter of fact, I have some in the lock and lock here so you can kind of see what it looks like. And it mixes up very easy, very well. As a matter of fact, my daughter makes this milk all the time. And she really enjoys drinking the milk. So if we ever run out of this, she uses this. And the real test of a good powdered milk is the Oreo test. So whatever milk you buy, get some Oreos, because who doesn't love Oreos? So get some Oreos, have your, you know, cool it down overnight, put some Oreos in a glass, and have your children try it with the Oreos. If they love it with the Oreos, they're going to love it. Or another good test is with your favorite breakfast cereal. Try it that way. If you love it that way, it would be great for your family to drink. So this is one option that I have for my rule of three. The next option I have is um, the LDS cannery and I do go to the LDS cannery and I purchase milk, um, powder milk there and if you have one in your local area um, I suggest that you pay them a visit if you're able to. The last um, option is Thrive Food Storage and um, for full disclosure I am a Shelf Reliance, independent Shelf Reliance consultant and I do sell Thrive Food Storage. So I'm speaking from a business perspective and also a mom perspective because at the end of the day, prep is my business, but I have to buy milk and food that my family will actually eat and drink. So I love Thrive and one of the reasons I became an independent uh, Shelf Reliance consultant is because I love the product. I love the taste, I love the food, I love the freshness and Thrive is a great alternative for powdered milk if you cannot get to your local cannery. And some things I prefer in Thrive because they do not sell them at the cannery. And as you can see here, Thrive offers two options for powdered milk. They offer the instant milk, which is good for everyday drinking, and they offer the non-fat powdered milk. And I wanted to show you the two can sizes this is what we call our pantry cans. If you just want to try it before you buy it, this is a great option for you. Um, buy the smaller can, make a couple batches up, have your kids and your husband and your family test it out to see if they really will enjoy it. And I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Before moving up to your bigger number 10 can storage. So this is instant milk, and instant milk is better for your everyday drinking, your everyday cooking. Um, and this powdered milk, non-fat powdered milk, is better to be used in your baking and things where you're not going to drink it directly. Some of the benefits of storing milk are we all know that milk is low in cholesterol, it's non-fat, 
It's fortified with vitamins A and D, and it's good for you, and it has the calcium your kids will need um, to grow in for your bones and your health. So it's good to have a variety of milk in your long-term food storage so that you know during a long-term emergency or financial difficulties for your family, if you ever experience that, then you can still be able to provide your family with some source of milk. And so that's why it's very important to uh, get your water storage up to par and to figure out how much water you need to have in storage per can of milk. So that's also important too. Another area of the dairy that I also keep a lot of, it's not necessarily milk, but I do want to bring it up in this video, is the butter. Um, I store Thrive Powdered Butter, and this is another item that you can buy off the Prep Shelf Reliance website. Um, so, butter is also very important to have into your long term food storage as when you're cooking with your breads and you're baking and you're preparing your meals, the um, butter, the milk, and the sour cream and other dairy things that you normally wouldn't be able to keep on the shelf long term, you can with Thrive and Shelf Reliance food storage. And I am a proponent of being prepared in all areas, whether it's my milk or my butter. I keep long-term food storage so that that can complement my wheat, my beans, my grains, uh, my barley, any other things that I am storing that I will need to make meals for my family during a long-term emergency or even during a financial crisis such as a job layoff or a loss of income due to a medical emergency. So, if you have a brand of milk or something that you like for your long-term food storage as far as dairy and milk are concerned, feel free to leave a comment below. Your comments are always welcome on the Providing Resources for Emergency Preparedness YouTube page. Thanks for watching another video. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and visit our website at www.providingresources.com. Thank you and have a very blessed day.